Wow, that movie was... something else. What are my thoughts on it? Oh, well, I didn't like it. I fucking loved it. Yeah, normally this kind of movie isn't really my cup of tea, but it really blew my mind. The story, special effects, the tone... All together, it made an amazing film. It had some really great fights in it, too. Like, when he fought against that android. Oh my god, it was insane. <laughs> the way the pristine room they fought in was left tattered and desolated. Or how the main hero subdued his opponent and gained the upper hand. Oh, it was so exhilarating. If I had to pick a favorite part, it'd have to be the dream sequence. It was very pleasant. How did you find out about this movie, if you don't mind me asking? Twitter, huh? <laughs> I figured as much. You tend to find some pretty obscure media there. I think next time you should also pick the movie. Mm-hmm. I'm open to your suggestions. I really enjoyed our day today. I cherished every moment of it. Our walk at the park, the shops we visited downtown. It was all wonderful. I'm glad you enjoyed it, too. Oh, <laughs> look at you. Oh, you're blushing. We've been dating for a year now. <laughs> you still elicit that kind of reaction when I kiss your cheek. I think it's adorable. <laughs> uh, hey, is everything all right? I don't know. It just looks like there's something on your mind. What's wrong? Darling, don't say it's nothing. I've told you before, you don't have to hold back with me. Yes, of course I want to hear it. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing the love of my life is feeling down. Your happiness is very important to me. You must know that. So tell me, what's on your mind? You think I'm going to leave you for someone? Because you're worried you're not good enough for me. Uh, why would you think that? You're ashamed of yourself for being shy. Oh, sweetheart. Uh, is this about when we visited my parents last week? Honestly, I just had a hunch. I remember the look on your face when we came home from seeing them. You looked devastated. I didn't understand, though. You got along with my mom just fine, even though my father wasn't the most welcoming, and... Oh, it was him, wasn't it? Oh, could you tell me what happened? My father thinks you're pathetic? And he says I could do better? That... asshole... I don't care if he's family. He has no right to say that about you. I specifically told him prior to our visit to be nice to you, but he doesn't care. Yeah, my dad's been like this for longer than I can even remember. He has this very toxic mindset of how men should be. It's affected not only how he raised my brother, but also how he views women. Even his own wife. God, I really hate him sometimes. I'm so sorry you were treated that way. I really am. Listen, I don't want you to be ashamed because you feel like you have to be like other men. I understand that as a guy you're expected to be brave, stoic, and masculine, but I can only imagine how much this has taken a toll on you, baby. It's all bullshit, you know. Yes, it is. I think it's an injustice how much you have to prove yourself just for others to accept you. You really don't owe them anything. You are amazing. And I don't want you to be pressured into abiding by my father's medieval ways. It's such a toxic mindset to force onto others. And I simply will not stand for it. You know, your shyness is actually part of what drew me to you in the first place. No, I'm not lying. All my life, I've always been around the same sorts of men. They're not terrible, except for my dad. I've gotten along with all my guy friends over the years. There's no way I'd still want them in my life if they had the same toxic character as my dad. 
What I'm getting at is, I thought it was a brush of fresh air to know a guy who's more... soft. Do you remember those first days when we met at our community college? I'd always find you there at the end of my last period, somewhere around the cafe area. You'd either be working on homework or reading a comic. I was under the impression that you were kind of lonely, so I thought it would be nice if you had some company. Yeah, I do remember you being a little hesitant to be yourself the first days. You told me that it was because you were so used to people taking advantage of you. It was there that I realized I wanted to be a very good friend. Because I wanted you to feel accepted. Finding you on that spot was always the highlight of my day. Mm Mm-hmm. It was. We were friends for a semester, and before you knew it, I had developed feelings for you. I didn't want to confess at first, because I was so worried I'd scare you off. But it turns out you had feelings for me as well. (laughs) And I was so, so happy. I still remember how you blushed when you first told me you loved me. (laughs) It was so sweet. Look, it doesn't matter to me that you were shy then, and it doesn't matter that you're shy now. It does not make you any more or less of a man, okay? Not to mention, it's because of your shyness that I get to surprise you. Like this. (laughs) Now tell me, do you think I would see that same reaction if you were more confident? Uh, You're doing it again. (laughs) Get your face over here. (laughs) Your face is so red. (laughs) You know, if you keep being so adorable, I may need to play around with you a little more. Oh, what's wrong? Does my shy boyfriend not like to be teased? Okay, but the fact that your face is as red as a tomato says otherwise. (laughs) In all seriousness, I truly do mean it all. Please don't be ashamed of the kind of person you are. Just because you don't feel like you're very confident or stoic or whatever society expects from you, it doesn't mean I'm going to love you any less. There's no way I'd end such an amazing relationship just because you don't feel as confident as other guys. There are other things I love about you as well. You're kind, empathetic, you make me laugh, And you're such a gentleman. Of course you are. I know that oftentimes you have difficulty maintaining eye contact and meeting new people. But whenever we go out on a date, I notice that you're very well-mannered. Honestly, it's no wonder my mom and friends speak of you so well. You're also very gentle and soft-spoken. I really admire that about you. I admire everything about you. Ahem. Did I help you feel better? I'm glad I could help you realize how wonderful of a guy you are. Uh, baby? Uh, You kissed me first. No, of course I loved it. It's just, I'm usually the one who kisses you. You wanted to show how much you appreciate me? Oh, that is so sweet of you. Come here. Mm. Hey, do you want to stay the night with me? You will? Good, because all I want to do right now is pamper you. (laughs) I'm so, so glad that I met you. I love you too, my sweet one.